whatever. I had an, a, like 11 minute tutorial that showed you how to do all this stuff, but um, I'm saying screw it because I'm t sick and tired and everything keeps screwing up. Um, basically, what I've done is created a simple scene here just to demonstrate how to render out stuff with a texture applied to it, and it uh, should work out pretty fine in the end. Um, took about three minutes to render the uh, full animation in high definition, so I'm not going to redo it in high definition because I'm getting sick of this thing not recording sound, and it may not even be doing it right now. I don't know. I'll find out whenever it gets done. I'm just going to render it out really small. Um, basically, uh, you got your textures, you got your video, and you can set up a camera, and I, what I did in here is uh, there's a tip. Um, if you hit P, you can go into your perspective mode and uh, Let's see, there's a button in here somewhere. Ah! I don't think this is it. No, okay, well, uh... Is it X? No? Oh, never mind, okay. Whatever. Um, I was supposed to be doing something, but it's different in my... I just hit the, uh... I think the Z key, or the F key, I mean... Maybe that's it in here? No, because that'll change it to the front view. Never mind. If you hit the F key, it frames the whole thing and allows you to orbit around everything in the scene, not just this stupid little block that's being gay. Anyway, um, to create a camera, um, let's say uh, I want to create my camera from this angle. You can hit Control C and voila, you got a camera. If you hit C, um, there's your camera. And uh, more works pretty good. Anyway. Open up your render dialog stuff. Uh, you can hit it right here, or you can hit this button over here. Doesn't really freaking matter. It's up to you. Um, but uh, up here, time output, or yeah, okay. That's where you're going to tell it to render out your animation. Um, you click this active time segment, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, single. This is what single. Oh, crap! Stupid. Oh, gosh. Rings two, you piece of crap. Okay. Um, active time segment zero to one hundred. That's going to render out this entire frame, which is zero to one hundred um, up here. Um, you can do range, put in any number you want. What frames you want to render out? Thirty to fifty, and this is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, down here in render output. Um, basically, what this does is uh, that's how you tell it to save it as a movie file. So if we click this and we got rings to you can save as type and they got a whole bunch of different stuff. Um I'm gonna tell you to stray away from AVI files unless that's what you really want to use because your file sizes are gonna be huge and uh actually that's why 9-11 happens because that day uh some guy used the AVI file render setting and uh, yeah, caused chaos. Um I always use QuickTime, high quality. Um always plays like it's supposed to. You just gotta know how to do it. So yeah. You can click setup. You can click save, and there's sometimes if you click, just click save, it, uh, this might pop up, but uh, it may not. Um, compression type. You want to do animation, highest quality video you can get out of any of these. Um, this actually here is what I render out all my HD videos out to put on YouTube. Um, high quality, very low file sizes. Um, works great. I used to use this, but I don't know about that anymore. It's okay, but uh, yeah, there's something wrong with it. I think. Anyway, frames per second, 24, because that's what we got set to, uh, best, high, whatever you freaking want to. Just for the sake of this to get done faster, I'm going to set it to medium. Um, I'm going to hit OK, and hit save, and we're done. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Don't tell it to, when you click that, tell it where you want to put it. I saved it to the desktop. I'm sure you can figure out the rest. After that, uh, make sure you have this camera selected, um, or otherwise it'll render out whatever you got selected in here. Uh, front view, side, top, whatever, or camera. And if you want to make sure that it does it, uh, down here you can click uh, camera one, and that should do uh, what you want. If you click active shade, what that will do is actually render out what it looks like in here. I don't want that. Um, we want uh, production, which is what this is going to look like, but a little bit different. Just go ahead and hit render and uh, let it do its thing. It's actually going a little bit faster than earlier, so I'll just let this go through. Um, Actually, I just, yeah, whatever. I'm just not going to talk.
booby. See, I, I talked and it actually slowed it down. You see that? Well, it's stupid. Okay, it's done. It took about a minute that time. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, um, now that all that's done, um, you can check where your video is. Oh look, there's my first one. I'll show you what that looked like since it's being a douchebag and probably it still isn't recording my voice. Um, that's what it looked like in high definition. Um, so, yippee ki -yay, whatever. This is the new one. Um, if you look at this, uh, so even that small video file is one megabyte, which isn't bad, but still. So, but that's basically what we got. And, uh, yeah, that should tell you how to do it. You have any questions, uh, you know who to ask.